What's up guys, welcome back to Bradley's Garage. Today we're working on our 2015 VW Jetta. This is the 1.8T. So if you got this motor, we're gonna walk you through the oil change. Really straightforward to do on your own, so let's jump on it. So we're gonna be using ramps. Uh, it's a little bit easier, quicker. You can always uh, bust out the jack and jack stands, but just pull it up onto some ramps and it's more easier. All right, so first step is we need to remove the engine cover. So it's held on by four little rubber tabs. So just pull up gently on each corner. You don't want to just yank it. You could end up cracking it. If you look here, basically one, two, three, four, and they line up there. So we'll just set that to the side. You just want to have access to your air filter, or excuse me, your oil filter housing, and then the fill cap, you can technically access with the cover, but just gives you a little bit more room. So this oil filter housing uses a 32 millimeter. I always like to just crack it before we start draining the oil. Just to go ahead and get that those O-rings out of the channel there. And then we can jump underneath the car and drain the oil. All right, so the cool thing about the, the Jetta is that the under tray, the plastic under tray, doesn't block the oil pan, so you can access it. Uh, and looks like on this car, this is our neighbor's car, he, uh, he always had a change at some point and they replaced the drain plug with a 17 millimeter drain plug. The normal factory VW one uses a T45 Torx. So depending on if your drain plug is factory or not, uh, but this one's got a 17 aftermarket on there. So, all right, so we got our ratchet, got our oil drain pan. I'm gonna break that free. And we did drive the car a little bit so it's warm. Try to do it when it's not completely cold. Okay, give that a few minutes, let it drain. All right, so you get your 32 back up top while the oil is draining. Come up top here. Okay, I just have a bucket ready to be able to put the filter in. Otherwise you make a mess. I did even one drip there. So we'll go ahead and just let that continue to uh, drain. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and replace our O-ring and our filter. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and the filter just kind of clips in there. Just wanna grab it, pull it out. Not sure what brand that is. And then you just get a pick tool for your O-ring and you pull that off. Okay, we have our new filter here, uh, OEM VW filter. There's the part number. We'll leave the description, or excuse me, we'll put the part number in the description below. And they do give us the filter. Okay, matches up nice. And then give us a uh, O-ring. So what I like to do is just get a little oil onto that O-ring. Just the used oil is fine. And we'll go ahead and get that on. All right, then you get your new filter and then you slide it over and just go ahead and just click it into place. Okay, we'll give everything a little wipe and we're ready to reinsert. Just make sure you got some oil on the O-ring itself and then just simply insert the center piece down in and go ahead and just use your hand to hand tighten it. Last thing you wanna do is cross thread this plastic piece here. All right, and then grab your 32. Then I just snug it, remove the normal wrench, and then you can grab your torque wrench. And we're gonna, it's uh, 18 Newton meters for this, or uh, 13, it's like 13.3. So it doesn't need to be tight. Don't go crazy on it. Um, it's easy to crack this filter housing, so. Um, now we'll go ahead and get underneath, get our drain plug back in, and we can put in some fresh oil. All right, so even though this is like an aftermarket, uh, they used kind of a weird, kind of a flat washer. We're gonna go ahead and switch back to the OEM. Even though it's an aftermarket drain plug, we can still use the OEM crush washer. So we'll leave that part number in the description below as well. We have our crush washer there. This is gonna provide a better seal. I think it works better than this one. So we'll 
continue using the aftermarket, but we'll use the factory crush seal. All right, after it's done dripping, just give it a little wipe, have your drain plug ready, and then get it started by hand. And then before you get it too close, just do one little final wipe. Make sure you have any residue because any oil that's left on the pan will just attract dust. You don't want that. Okay, we have it snug. I want to just grab the torque wrench. All right, we've got our torque wrench. It's uh, 30 Newton meters on the drain plug or 22 foot pounds. That's all it takes. All right, so we got our oil. We're gonna use the Liquid Molly, the uh, Top Tech 4200. This is a 5W30. So we're gonna take our initial five liters and put that in. Okay, the oil fill cap is just right here. Just a quarter twist. And we'll set that to the side. Just give it a little wipe, make sure everything's good. It's kind of funny the, the way that they designed the cover here. The, it has, kind of the plastic is right in your way. So you might need to have a buddy hold the funnel for you, uh, or if you have a skinnier funnel that actually fits in the hole. So um, anyway, we're gonna just set that there and we're gonna put in our initial five liters. Okay, so we got our initial five in. Uh, the engine holds about 5.7 completely dry. So um, we're gonna put our five in, we're gonna start it up, we're gonna back it up off the ramps, get it on a level, flat level service, and then we'll be able to double check it and add that last, you know, most likely it's about a half, half a liter, so around 5.5 to get it done. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and back it off the ramps. All right, so we just let it rest for a couple minutes after the initial startup, we have it on level land. And we're gonna go ahead and just double check, see where we are. And it looks like we are at the bottom of the hash, which means we are about a liter. So double check one more time. Ah, it's barely touching. So let's go ahead and throw in about three quarters of this other liter. And then we'll do another check. But judging by that dipstick, it looks like it's gonna hold uh, about six. So we go ahead and we put that in. We'll let that drain for a minute or so and then recheck the oil. All right, so let's just double check, see where we are, let it rest a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, still looking, not touching that top hash there. So I think it's about a quarter of a quart. So we'll put in a tiny bit more. We basically put in half of this one. So it's gonna be about three quarters. So we did a pretty good job. Since it was on the ramps, it was uh, being drained at a slight angle. So we're good. So really, I guess it took, you know, that 5.7 really took everything, so. All right, feel pretty confident about that. Go ahead and get your lid back on. Okay, and then it faces this way, so you see. You can see the little tin cup. All right, so then just get the engine cover back on. Just remember the four uh, little rubber things. So it kind of lines up right here, right with the front. You have this little notch for the map sensor. And then once you get into each hole, just push down. And that completes that. After the oil change, obviously you want to reset your service indicator. So all you have to do is hold down the right odometer reset button before you do your start stop button or turn the key on. So hold the button down, turn it on. And if you see here, it says, do you really wanna do the reset? You can just use the okay button on your steering wheel and then service reset, your oil's done. So you're good for another, I think it's 7,500 on this car. So another 7,500 miles. All right guys, hopefully that helps you out with your 2014 to 2018 VW Jetta. This is the 1.8T, the EA888 motor. Uh, but keep in mind, they used this engine on the Beetle, the Golf, the GTI, uh, even the Passat. So this layout of the engine is gonna be the same. So doing the oil change will work on all those cars as well. So hopefully it helped you out. Uh, be sure to check out the channel. We did a bunch of repairs on this 2014 to 2018 VW Jetta. Check those out and we'll catch you guys on the next one.